not sure whether you can hear me or not over the uh, all of those noises in here. I'm currently trying to find a remote place that we can try an experiment out. You see, I've built this converter that's going to convert this Mini that we're in right now. It's going to let us control the throttle cable with control voltage. If you're not aware what control voltage is, it's what analog synthesizers talk with. They talk between zero and about 10 to 12 volts if you really want to do it. Right now, today, we're going to be plugging this into a theremin. And this theremin has a rev counter on top just so we don't accidentally blow up the engine. I do not want to break another Mini. You see, the thing is, is it might sound a bit excessive, and it probably is, and I didn't mean it to be this way, but I've ended up in the last year with getting two Minis. I was gonna buy, and I was saving up for a nice Skoda estate for nice and sensible stuff, but it turns out for less money than a four-year-old Skoda estate, you could have two classic Minis, and the thinking is if one's broken, the other one's gonna work. Currently, you will know that one is broken, but this one is working, but we it might not be for long. We might break it today. I'll talk through it in a little moment when we find a little remote spot to play this Ferramini. I think we're going to call it the Ferramini. <laughs> oh, it's not very fast, but it's loud. Loud means fast, right? So we're going to get to this remote spot. We're going to plug in the Ferramini into the car. And I can't even play Ferramini, so I don't even know if I'm going to even get a hint of a music out. You may be thinking, but Sam, this isn't going to work because the engine speeds up at a different speed to a theremin, and that's true. This has got a lightened flywheel inside it, so it means that it will rev quicker, but it's still not gonna rev as quick as a theremin would. It would have probably been more sensible to use a motorcycle engine or something, but I ain't got a motorcycle engine. I've got a Mini, so we're gonna be testing it on the Mini. Anyway, let's go and find this spot. Notice that the dashboard has been taken out, that's for another project coming up. We'll talk about that in a little bit. It's so noisy in here. Ah. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind, and here we go. The remote spot of choice. Oh, this is going to be so good. This is going to be... Blooming good. Well, I hope so. Okay, so what is the plan? Well, your foot pedal, which is right here, is connected via a cable, a mechanical cable, to your carburetor. This is actually that wire. Well, in an A-series engine anyway. And if we pull this, that is the engine. So I've made something that's gonna replace this wire and plug into the engine. I'm very scared about this, but it's worth a go. It's got a magnet as well, so it's gonna be able to bolt onto the engine mount. Let's put it in place anyway. Yeah, yeah you had a 1275, did you? Two of them. Yeah. One in orange, one in a mustard color. Yeah. Uh, good luck on it. Oh, cheers, mate. All right, I need a flat blade screwdriver. All right, so how's this come off? So I've got to take off this, this stopper. Come on. Okay, right, I think that's it. <laughs> right, so, gonna put this on. This is the throttle cable modified. Okay, oh my. Just dropped a washer, no. Onto the sump guard, no. Well, it'll wriggle out by the time I need to drive home, that's for sure. Gonna bring it in a bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I am feeling good about this except for losing that washer down there, but hopefully it will wriggle out the bottom of the engine by the time we've got to drive home. <laughs> so we got this and that's gonna drive it. And then hopefully with any luck, that is gonna open and close. Oh, it will. It's quite a lot of load, it might not take it. And then we're gonna get a wire extender over to the electrics. So let's plop over to the electrics and get that plugged in. Right. Got to find a positive line behind this. Almost certain. I'm just going to snip it now because I've got to put new ends on it. Use a good old Wago for now. So, plonk that in there. Get that out of the way because that's, that's something else. My, my temporary rev count has fallen to pieces. Oh, this right here is the conversion box that I've made. It is literally 
uh, Teensy that is running the example code for a servo run by knobs. That is all it is. There's nothing complicated, nothing fancy in here. Let's have that coming out the window. Oh. Hopefully it'll reach. Right, first I'm gonna try and play the car with the knob because uh, yeah, we could play it with the knob. to discover why everybody was saying this was a bad idea because Actually, it's a lot harder than I was expecting. But it doesn't mean that we can't make cool vroom vroom sounds with a theremin, right? Let's give the let's get the theremin plugged in. Let's do this. decided to plug a theremin via some electronics into the throttle cable of my car. Why? Why not? That was my attempt to play in somewhere over the rainbow. successful and that is down to the fact that it was a bad idea from the start from the get-go this idea should have just stayed on the idea board but I'd give it a go anyway and I've realized now I'm talking about cars I'm talking in that kind of car journalist voice you have to do that driving in cars because you're thinking and you go like this and everything's like that anyway back to the idea like so it should have stayed on the storyboard to be honest People were mentioning it wasn't gonna work, and you were right. However, I do think if it was a slightly smaller engine, like a motorbike engine with a tiny flywheel on it so it can go up and down in no much quicker. So if there's any companies out there in the Southeast with motorbike engines or small car engines and stuff, and will let me play one of them with my theremin, bear in mind I can't really play theremin either, then please get in contact below. Anyway, that's it for this experiment. I've included some samples that you can download over on my Patreon. If you want to support these stupid projects, then go check it out over there. Anyway, I'm looking, I'm no computer. This is Mr. Orange. Have a lovely time. Oh.